My name is Carol Henry Alexander, and I'm a visual artist. I live in Clinton, Maryland. All right, well, I've been an artist since I was a young girl, like maybe age nine or 10. And um, I've been practicing with a traditional artist practice, like drawing, painting, sculpture uh, for years. And really back in the 80s, I was in California and they had started a community art program, the state. I think it was the first one in the country. And I became one of their artists and I started going out and working in the community um, creating artworks collaboratively with community members, schools, organizations, neighborhoods, etc. And so since that time, I've been doing um, community organizing uh, with art as the tool to bring people together and to share ideas. So how did I get involved with this project? Well, Sue Pro got with Close to Home Productions up in Ithaca, um, was my fifth grade teacher, and boy, she was the best teacher I ever had. So inspiring. She's a creative person. And we've been friendly with each other, lost each other, found each other over the years. And we've been really uh, staying in touch the last decade or so. And during the pandemic, we started with, I think, a every other week chat session on Zoom. And she was asking me, uh, she was sharing with me an idea that she had for Stand Up Women. She had the vision of creating a video that would be highlighting the work of these amazing women in Ithaca who've been working at, in very, uh, very different realms, but always advocates for causes that have been of great consequence to the community in Ithaca. And when she said that, it was like immediately I had the idea that speaking with them would be awesome and creating with them would be a beautiful addition to the project. And so we started talking about it and that's how I got involved with the project. You know, as far as my experience working on this project with Sue, it's been fabulous. I mean, I love the time together where we can just be our creative selves and just vision and dream together. And the culmination, which was a week in Ithaca, working with the women was just more than I could have hoped for because each of the women brought to the table amazing life experiences. And I learned so much from how they each um, look at the world. And um, one of the things that I really learned from working with them is that most people's activism sprouts from personal experience. Each one of those women had stories to tell of how they came to the work that they had been doing in the community. And it was just so clear how important it was to them and then their community that they shared their experience that they helped other people with similar experiences and it just made a great impact on their community and while i was working with them i felt their hearts i felt how much they care about their issues and their community and i was extremely and still am extremely inspired by them what I saw as my role with them, with the artists fr from the community, was to support them in visualizing their stories. I was hoping to help them identify what in that moment felt like important times in their lives and in the work that they've done in community, and to somehow get ideas to turn into visual representation. And so, you know, that's the kind of work that I do with communities um, all over the country and also abroad. And these women stood up, they are truly stand-up women. And we shared stories 
on the, our first meeting together and pulled out ideas and listened deeply with each other. It just really immediately felt like a place of creativity and imagination and support. It, as soon as we came together in that room, I felt that everyone was there to get their ideas out and to support each other in getting their ideas out. So my experience was amazing. Um, I'm looking forward to the exhibition and uh, I have new um, activities and subjects that are part of my conversation out in the world because what I learned from the women we worked with. Every town, every community has stand-up women and that it's actually a beautiful theme and a beautiful experience to bring women who've been working in their communities for years together to share their experiences and to share the creative experience together. So I do have that idea that now I really want to, you know, it's part of my conversation is bringing women together to share elder women, to share their experiences of helping their communities throughout their lives. And also, I think that, um, I guess the future vision um, is that, and then also the exhibition. I really want the exhibition to be visually and story-wise very powerful for the community there in Ithaca. The kind of advice that I might give to other artists who are doing work in the community is to broaden and open the perspective and definition of what art is and to meet people where they're at and uplift their uh, creative action as the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. <laughs> and also um, to work together to deeply listen. I find like my most valued skill is listening deeply to my participants and helping them bring up those small things that they may not think are important, but that they said in their conversation, bring that up and explore that with creativity and imagination. So that's what I would say, listen and support. <laughs>